What's up guys, what's going on man? This is your boy G right here bringing you some more videos here. So today I'm going to be showing you guys some exercises that can do to recover your hamstrings. If maybe you injured your hamstring plane or you pulled it or it's feeling tight, these are some exercises that can help you loosen those hamstrings up and kind of test it out a little bit, see where you're at in your recovery and how your hamstrings are feeling. So I do have some equipment here that's going to help us out with these exercises as well. I have a handy speed ladder. If you don't have one of these, you definitely need to get one of these. I picked this up for about 15 bucks on Amazon. Not that pricey at all, and this comes a long way to help you out. Um, we also got this speed trainer. I don't know what these are really called. They go by a lot of names, but we have this right here. That's also going to help us test out those hamstrings and, and kind of push them just a little bit. So this is going to come in handy as well. This you can pick up for like around 30 bucks on Amazon as well. Not that pricey either. We got some speed rings here that are gonna help us as well with some with some jumps and kind of help us with the landing, get some stabilization going in each legs, make sure there's enough strength in there to hold our, our weight up just by with one leg. So we're gonna get into that and we have some cones that are gonna help us out as well. All right, so for the speed ladder, we're gonna just start with a simple two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out, and we'll just get that front and back. Then we'll go into we'll go into the side, in and out. So two feet in, two feet out, two feet in, two feet out, backwards. Then we'll jump into two feet in, and then we're gonna pause with one leg hold that drive down hold that weight down in one leg then go to the other side front and back and then I'll come show you how some other stuff Just got bit by a fucking ant. Oh, because that's the one bad thing about working out barefooted. So now, on this next one, when we're two feet in and we're out, we're gonna drive with the leg that we're coming out of. We're gonna drop and hold our balance as best as we can. So we're gonna drop, hold. Next one, hold. Try to go as low as you can, as, that, as low as that hamstring allows you to. And really try to keep the focus and holding it and then in driving and pushing up off of that. If that feels a little bit too hard on your hamstrings at the moment, you can skip it. You can do some of the other lighter ones. This one's a little bit more demanding on them too because you gotta hold, kind of spring down and spring back up. So it's a little bit challenging on them. But.
So in the next one, it's gonna be exactly the same movement. But instead of holding down, as soon as we plant, we're gonna drive up. So on this next one, we're not gonna plant and hold. We're gonna plant and drive. So same thing with the other leg. We're not gonna hold. We're gonna and pop up and try to explode out. As you can see, that one's a little bit harder to explode out because your body instantly wants to drive down, but as soon as it wants to drive down, you have to force your way back up. Next one, we're gonna set about two cones about 15 yards apart. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off on this cone. We're gonna sprint about 50 to 70 percent of the way there, and we're gonna go around the cone. Around the cone, we want to make sure we're doing small, short um, cuts, if you will, around the cone, and then explode out and drive all the way back. And we'll do that a couple of times. Do those about five times on each side or until you know you can tolerate with your current stamina at the moment as long as you're pushing yourself really driving with those legs pushing off you should be all right for this one you're gonna need something like a goal post or something that you can tie it around what we're gonna do is we're gonna create some tension on that rope as soon as we create some tension we're gonna run to each cone touch it drive back as soon as you feel that tension loosen up explode back out touch each cone do that a couple of times As you can see, if you focus on driving every time that tension loosens up, and you drive with your legs, 
That's a retirement exercise, man. Ooh, I'm guess We're gonna do that for about two more sets, and I'll show you a different variant of that same workout. All right, so for the next variant of this exercise, it's gonna be sort of the same thing, but we're gonna start with our back toward the goal post. We're gonna load up that tension on that rope. And then as soon as we have a good amount of tension, we're just gonna let ourselves go. It's gonna spring us forward, but we're not gonna stop ourselves from decelerating until we pass the cone. So don't stop yourself before you pass the cone. Let it drive you all the way through. And once you pass the cone, you need to decelerate quickly that's gonna really help with the leg power making sure those legs are working at full function to be able to stop you because if not you're just gonna hit the ground All of these exercises are pretty challenging, man. They require a lot of stamina, a lot of strength. So, do these a couple of sets each single time, and you'll see that improvement on your legs. You'll test out your hamstrings, see how they're doing. All right, so for this legs exercise, we got the ring set up here. It's gonna be sort of what we did with the ladder earlier. We're gonna start off with one leg, focus, drive down on that leg, and we're gonna jump out to the next ring with the other leg and it's gonna be the same thing we're gonna hold our balance we're gonna hold the positioning for about i say about two seconds one two jump on to the next one one two hold it really um focusing on that balance on your leg making sure you're springing down and springing up out of it and then once we reach the last one we're just gonna explode and spring down we'll do that a couple of times and yeah we'll go from Do a couple more here.
All right, guys, so that's going to go ahead and wrap it up for today's session. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. So think of these exercises here. Let me know if you try them out, how they feel on your legs, how they feel on your body. If they're challenging, if they're not, go ahead and just let me know. If you guys want to see more variants of exercises like this to help you recover, to help you increase your stamina and increase your ability to do work. So, um, yeah, go ahead and give this a try and uh, let me know how they go i'll see you guys in the next one okay peace